Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we're diving deep into the San Francisco 49ers picks in the 2024 NFL Draft, and let me tell you, we've got a lot to talk about. Let's get right to it. Starting off with our first pick at number 31, Ricky Pearsall, wide receiver from Florida. Now tell me, is this a gamble or an insurance policy in case Brandon Ayuk gets traded? Pearsall, standing at 6'1 and 189 pounds, comes with a reputation for making tough catches, and boy, can he grab the those balls last year with the Gators, he caught 65 passes for 965 yards and four touchdowns. But was he the right pick at this spot? I'd say it's a risky bet, but it might just work well alongside George Kittle running those interior routes. Moving on to the second round, pick number 64, we've got Renardo Green, cornerback from Florida State. Green is a competitive player, good at press coverage and physical, but let's be honest, he's small by NFL standards. And the penalties, he's been flagged way too much, folks. Were there no better corner back options available? That's the question. In the third round, we moved up eight spots to grab Dominic Pooney, guard from Kansas. This guy is big, powerful, and knows how to deliver a message with his hands, but he's got issues with consistency. Still, he has massive potential, maybe even to play at center. Was it a good move to trade up for him? I'd say yes, especially if he can maintain his technique. Now talking about the later rounds, Malik Mustafa, safety from Wake Forest, came in the fourth round. He's not a big ball thief, but he's got an impressive range against the run and is disciplined in coverage. Might not be the fastest guy, but he's a natural competitor. And then there's Isaac Guarendo, speedster from Louisville, who could bring that needed burst to our ground game. Lastly, in the sixth round, we have Jarrett Kingston from USC, an explosive guy who played both tackle and guard, but with somewhat short arms for the NFL, he might fit better at center. Definitely a project player. So, after reviewing all this, the big question is, do these picks actually improve our team where we need it? Did we effectively balance our needs and the available talent? That's my question for you fans. Don't forget to leave your comments, like, and subscribe for more analysis and exclusive 49ers news. Let's keep this conversation going and see where these new additions can take us next season. Until next time, folks, go Niners!